are about to see the historic March 1 launching of the Jupiter, which is the first film sequence of Army Research and Development Film Report Number 2. In this report, we will show the latest development and testing of Army equipment in the fields of firepower, mobility, materiel, communications, and human resources. This is the Jupiter, the IRBM being developed by the Army, which will be capable of delivering a nuclear warhead 1,500 miles. The Army initiated the Jupiter program in November 1955 to provide, at the earliest possible date, an intermediate-range ballistic missile to travel as far as 1,500 miles. The Jupiter is powered by a 150,000-pound thrust rocket engine. The March 1 launching was the first time in the Western world that a motor of this size and thrust had ever operated in a ballistic flight. Launch and flight for 72 seconds were excellent, at which time the missile went out of control and exploded. Although it did not go full range, it was an extremely valuable research and development firing. The missile continued to broadcast complete telemetered data until the end of flight. From this data, information for the correction of the failure was obtained. The Jupiter is a single-stage ballistic missile. It is finless, and control of the missile is accomplished during main thrust by swiveling the motor. The missile weighs approximately 110,000 pounds when fueled. After being launched vertically, it is programmed onto a ballistic trajectory. After power cutoff, the aft section will be separated from the forward section. The forward section will maintain its attitude tangent to the trajectory until it re-enters the atmosphere. Upon re-entry, the nose cone will separate from the guidance compartment and continue in a free-fall ballistic dive to the target. Both all inertial and radio inertial guidance systems are being developed. It is presently contemplated that the Jupiter will have an emergency operational capability by mid-1958. Complete operational capability can be achieved by mid-1959. 